What's up guys, Mista Castle here, and I'm gonna show you guys the best Avatar anime worlds in VR chat. The first world is Kami's Lookout by King Todd. You can simply get here just by typing Lookout. So when you get here, you're gonna click on that doorway right there that says click me. So once you get to this world, you're gonna click on those two white panels right there where Perunga the Dragon is, and you're gonna see all these different avatars on both sides, ranging from Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, some of the Dragon Ball movies, and Dragon Ball Super. This world is one of my favorites just because the simple fact that it has just so many avatars in one place, especially as a content creator, because if I need a specific avatar for something, or if you guys wanna role play, it's pretty much gonna be here if you're looking for Dragon Ball avatars. Also, some of these avatars do have animations. I would say a lot of them don't have animations. I haven't gone through all of them, but I have gone through a decent amount, but I'll show you a couple right now. And by the way, that's not even all the avatars this world has. Watch what happens when I click this Dragon Ball. These two boxes pop up. First, we're gonna click on this Naruto one. And as you can see, there's a crap ton more avatars in this world. Some of these avatars also have animations. And the avatars here are gonna be ranging from OG Naruto to all the way up to Boruto. So if you're gonna need an avatar for a specific skit or you know RP or whatever you want to do, uh, you're pretty much gonna be able to find it here for Naruto. The last one we have is extra models here. I don't think there's necessarily any anime in there, but there's a lot of gaming avatars in there as well. And they got stuff ranging from Final Fantasy in here to Deadpool to Resident Evil, uh, Donkey Kong, uh, you know, a few other games as well. I forgot they actually have a couple Bleach avatars back here as well. And that's pretty much why this world by King Todd is pretty much one of the best in VR chat for anime. Let's go to the next world. But before that, have you ever actually wanted to have your own custom avatar that has like cool effects that you own that you can design yourself? My friend here, who I'm not even gonna try to pronounce his name, basically makes custom avatars and VTubing models if you guys are interested. For example, this is one of his avatars. I'm gonna show you what it can do real quick. He basically made this avatar reactive to your body movements, which is pretty cool in my opinion. This is another example of a reactive avatar. So when I hold my hands above my head, you're gonna see a black hole appear. And then this avatar, which is pretty similar to the last one, has some pretty cool reactive features as well. Pretty much just a quick little showcase of my friend's work. Uh, I'm gonna leave a pinned comment with his info. He uh, works on Fiverr, so if you guys want a custom avatar of your own, uh, you can use him if you guys want to. Next world is called A Thousand Sunny by VR Luffy. Uh, you can just get there by typing in Sunny. All right, so when you get on the Thousand Sunny, the ship here, you're gonna see an avatar, a little button right here next to Luffy who's an NPC here, you're gonna click on this button right here. That's gonna take you inside this world where most of the avatars are basically filtered by Ark or Pirate Crew. Not everything is super organized, but this world is pretty easy. You shouldn't get lost unless you're in a Zoro avatar. I happen to know the creator of this world, and I know he's constantly updating this world to add new avatars but I would say most of the One Piece avatars I've tried to find for videos and like, you know, RP or whatever, I've been able to find in this world. Now, the reason why this world is probably one of my favorites currently right now is because I'm watching One Piece, but the level of detail to these avatars is pretty insane. If you take a look at the hand menu here, there's a ton of different options that he basically adds in every single avatar, most of them that I've tried using anyways. So if we go to toggles here, uh, you can change the outfits So as you can see my outfits are changing you can change the faces You can do all sorts of stuff. You can turn the powers on It's pretty crazy and these are all the different powers and this is pretty much most of the avatars you have in here Just to show you in real time. These are the faces again you know, we got the, you know, the meat eyes, we got the, the sparkly eyes, uh, the regular eyes. 
We got the different outfits for the different arcs here. And my favorite thing about these avatars is the powers, which I'm going to show you right now. And as you can see, I can stretch my arms like he does in the anime, and I can even change the size of them too. And here's another power just to kind of show you guys. As long as it would take me to show you each and every avatar, and as much as I would like to do that, I'm going to end the video now. So do let me know down in the comments if this helped you find the avatars you were kind of looking for. Um, you know, you have plenty to choose from, and you got some decent animations on them as well. So make sure to like, subscribe to the video, uh, and please let me know if you guys want a part two. I can make another one of these, and actually a few more if you want to. But anyways, I'm out. Catch you guys later.